So in this video, I am going to show you how you can install Kali Linux onto uh, your virtual box. So this uh, Oracle uh, VM virtual box is a software that is free and open source and with this software you can install an operating system like Kali Linux onto your existing uh, operating system so here we are going to install uh, Kali Linux onto this uh, Windows machine so before that I'm going to quickly show you how you can create a bootable pen drive so if you want to install Kali Linux onto your uh, machine and not onto any uh, virtual box so you can do that by creating a bootable pen drive and to create a bootable pen drive uh, you need to install this software win32 disk imager so with this uh, software you can create a bootable pen drive so here first you have to select the image file that means the ISO file of the operating system of, of which you want to create this uh, bootable pen drive so you have to click on this little icon here and you have to uh, browse and uh, get your iOS file wherever you have stored onto your system so here is uh, my uh, iOS file for Kali Linux so I'm going to select this and open it so we have our iOS file selected here now here you have to select your device that means your uh, pen drive onto which uh, you are going to have this uh, iOS file made bootable so here is uh, my USB drive and then after you have to click on right and just uh, select yes here and the bootable pen drive will be created in a couple of minutes so this is how you can create a bootable pen drive so I'm just going to cancel it so now let's install Kali Linux onto our virtual box so let's run this virtual box now here we have to create a new uh, virtual machine so we are going to click on new and we are going to specify the name of a virtual machine so I'm going to write Kali Linux and after that uh, you can uh, specify the folder where this virtual machine is going to be stored so I'm going to leave it as it is and here you have to specify the type of operating system that uh, we are going to install onto this virtual machine so it is Linux and we have to specify the version of Linux here so here uh, I'm just going to go with uh, other Linux 64-bit as in this list uh, there is no Kali Linux specified so I'm going to go with other Linux 64-bit and here uh, I have to specify the size of memory that I want for this virtual machine so I'm going to specify 4 gigs of uh, RAM to this virtual machine now I have 8 gigs of RAM on to my uh, current machine so I'm specifying half of it that means 4 GB you should not specify all the RAM that you have onto your current machine as uh, your current machine and the virtual machine will stop working if you do that and they are going to crash so you should not allocate all of the uh, memory that you have onto your current machine so I'm going to specify half of it that means uh, 4 GB and here I'm going to uh, so here we have to create a virtual disk onto which we are going to install this uh, Kali Linux so I'm going to select this uh, option and create now I'm going to go with this first hard disk type 
uh, that is virtual box disk image and I'm going to uh, keep this also as it is uh, that is dynamically allocated so here you can uh, specify the location and size of the hard drive that you want so I'm just going to keep this one as it is and I'm going to specify the hard drive to 20 GB if you want you can specify uh, more GBs but I'm just going to go with 20 GB and you should not specify uh, the hard drive space less than uh, 15 GBs so here I have specified 20 GBs for mine and I'm going to create it so here we have created our virtual machine now here we haven't yet specified the iOS file from which our Kali Linux setup is going to boot so we are going to do that by right clicking and going on to settings and here you have to uh, click on this storage tab and as you can see here uh, this says it's empty so we are going to select our disk image so you have to click on this little icon here and choose a disk image that is our ISO file so here I have the ISO file for Kali Linux so I'm just going to select it and open it so I have selected the iOS file and now we are good to start or boot up our virtual machine so here our virtual machine is uh, booted up now uh, to install Kali Linux uh, we are going to select graphical install now here uh, we will select the language that we want so I am going to go with English and here you have to select the country and here you have to uh, configure your keyboard so I'm going to go with this first option okay so now uh, you have to specify the host name now this is the name with which your system will be recognized onto a network so I'm just going to go with Kali then if you uh, want to specify a domain name then uh, you can specify that here or you can keep it blank so here you have to create a root password uh, and this password is uh, going to be used when you want root access so I'm just going to create password now after that uh, you have to uh, partition your disk to install the operating system now uh, there are uh, these different methods 
uh, with which you can partition your hard drive now in the manual method you have to do the partition yourself uh, so I'm just going to go with this uh, guided method where the disk is partitioned automatically for you now here as you can see we have our hard drive that we have created so I'm just going to click on continue so here uh, you can specify if you want uh, all your files into a single partition or if you want the home folder onto a different partition so I am going to go with uh, this one so here as you can see uh, the partition are automatically created now this is our primary partition where uh, all of the files are going to be stored and this is a swap partition that is automatically created now we are just going to uh, finish the partitioning here you can uh, again just uh, go through all the partitions that are created and if you want to make changes then you can uh, go back and do that so I'm just going to uh, select yes uh, and I don't want to do any changes so I'm just going to continue so all the partitions are created and now the installation is started okay so after the installation is done uh, here you have to uh, configure the package manager now here I'm just going to select no uh, so I'm uh, not going to use any network mirrors now after that uh, we have to install the bootloader uh, in order to boot our uh, Kali Linux operating system so to boot into our operating system uh, we are going to install this uh, grub bootloader uh, so I have selected yes and we have to continue now we are going to install this uh, bootloader onto uh, our hard drive uh, that we have created and installed this system on so now it is installing the bootloader and now uh, the installation is uh, finishing up so as you can see here the installation is completed successfully now uh, we are just going to boot into our operating system so now as you can see uh, this grub bootloader so there is a timer and after 4 seconds uh, it automatically uh, boots into the Kali Linux system. So here we have our Kali Linux running. So here we are going to uh, sign in into our system. So as uh, you can see we have to write the username here but we haven't uh, created any user while installing Kali Linux so we are just going to log in as root and here you have to provide the root password that uh, we have created while installing and click on to sign in So this is how you can install Kali Linux onto VirtualBox. So if you like this video then click on that like button and if you want to see more of these videos then subscribe to this channel. And that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.